Welcome to the channel guys, it's HypeFrag and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth guide on how you can improve in Call of Duty Cold War. Now we're going to go over five topics and I'm going to tell you guys how you can improve with them five topics. I did make a short video on this just briefly going over the topics but I'm going to go more in depth and tell you guys how you can actually get better and suggest ways where you can improve and where you may be going wrong. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share and subscribe and let's get into this. Alright guys, so start with tip number one, which was to improve your awareness and reaction time, which is how quickly you react to something going on within the game and making sure you're aware, which can be anything from seeing an enemy and being able to shoot them as fast as you can or aiming down your sights really quickly or seeing that there's skulls appearing on the map behind you, so then you turning around and then making sure that you're looking for any opposition. So this is majorly done by just gaining general experience in multiplayer. Now the minimap is a very very helpful tool that you guys should definitely use. Now I'm not saying to get stuck in the minimap but you look in the minimap now and then as sometimes it brings up skulls which can then indicate that there are enemies nearby as the skulls mean that your friendly teammates have died in that area. The minimap will also show you enemy opposition. Now a lot of people don't actually run ghosts on their classes. So whenever an enemy shoots and they don't have a suppressor, they will appear on your minimap, which can then give you their position. Also, when you've got a spy plane running, the minimap is very, very helpful as I'll show you all, the, all of your enemies that do not have ghosts and there'll be a constant stream of their location. So I would suggest that you look at the minimap now and then, don't glue your eyes to the minimap when you're playing the game as that will get you killed. I would say just have a quick glance at the minimap now and then, say you run down a new alleyway or you change your position, just look at it now and then to see what's going on in the game. Now to improve your reaction time, like I said this is mainly by experience that you'll gain this skill. Your reaction time can vary and there are a load of variables that control this. So one of them is one that you are able to actually control and this is input delay. So if you guys are on a TV or a monitor, there's going to be some input delay from the device, say for example your PlayStation, how long it takes to send that video to your screen and for you to see it. So I'm using a BenQ gaming monitor, my input delay is one millisecond, that is the, I think the best that you can get. You guys who are on a TV, your input delay may be five milliseconds or eight or something, but if you guys do change or go to a monitor, also being on a smaller screen helps so much. Because when you're on a smaller screen you can see everything that's going on around you without having to look in all different places as if you're on a big tv say 50 inches you're gonna have to look at one corner then another one to see what's going on within the game but if you're on a small monitor you can see everything that's going on if you look at it straight at the center and you can also improve your reaction time by just playing custom games putting the bots to the hardest level that you can running out seeing when they shoot you and how you react whether it's going behind cover turning around and going prone, ducking, whatever it is you do, that will improve your reaction time drastically. So for tip number two, that was to improve your settings to suit you. So I'm going to make a settings video probably the end of this week, but your settings, you just want to go have a play around with the settings, go through a couple of matches, see which settings suit you best. Now this can be anything from your aiming settings to your audio settings, to your graphical settings all of that just make sure that you play around because everyone has their own preferences i could make a video and tell you guys the best settings for me but they that may not apply to you guys so i would suggest just play around with all the settings that you've got see which one suits you best maybe turn one thing on turn another thing off and put on whatever you think will benefit you and once you've found the best settings for you just keep them that way so tip number three was to improve your aim so I'm actually going to start a series where I give you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your aim whether you're on mouse or if you're on controller because improving your aim is a big big thing on how to get better. This will help you so much if you can if you can be able to improve your aim within Call of Duty this will help you kill players increase your KD and it will just make you have so much of a funner time when you play the game. But I suggest the best way to improve your aim really is to just go in custom games get some experience just play against bots what i used to do to improve my aim was i'll go in custom games i'll put the bots to the recruit level and then when i'd play i'd aim at the bots and i'd stand still so there would be nothing else affecting me and i'll just make sure that i hit every single bullet now if you go and keep doing this keep doing this day by day your aim will slightly improve also when you're in these custom games make sure you take your time with everything that you do 
as you're just playing against bots and you're not actually in a public lobby so for tip number four to improve your game sense okay so game sense can be anything from like i said in the previous video if you're going to choose to push left if you're going to go down the alley where there's a guy with a death machine so for game sense everyone can play differently i'm an aggressive player so i'm usually always rushing no matter what because i find that works best for me you need to find which what what way works best for you if you're an aggressive player if you're a player that lets your friendly teammates go out first before going to kill the, the ops i'll just recommend playing a couple of matches noting down things that keep getting you killed or that are negatively impacting your kd and then i would suggest when you go into a next match avoid doing them now can this can be anything from say for example there's a guy in the window on new town he keeps on sniping you and you keep on running down the same exact path hit him from a different pass maybe go around the whole back of the map and then shoot him that from there instead of just going down his line of sight for the last tip which was to improve your class or weapon just like i said just play around you need to find which suits you best what suits you best what gun you like to use if you're a sniper you play around with the sniper see which attachments are best for you and your perks also you need to see which perks benefit you you need to go in the perk in the class menu and read everything because the game's giving you all the information that you need there you just need to figure out how to use that information to suit yourself so i'm a russian player i'll usually use smgs assault rifles but i also like using snipers shotguns i can pretty much use any weapon i'm fine with that but you need to make sure which perks suit you which attachments are best for your gun that you're using there's a lot of class videos that can help you with this that you can see on youtube i'll link some of the ones that i've got on my channel in the description below be sure to check them out but that is it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed if you want me to make another video with more tips that are different to the ones i used in this video please leave a like and comment down below but subscribe if this video helped you it's been high frag